So, this is it. The big day. I know, it's unbelievable. How did you manage to sleep last night? Sleep? What's that? I don't think I've ever heard of it. Yeah, me neither. It was so strange not sleeping in the same bed as you. Well, at least after today you won't have to worry about that anymore. Except on business trips, which I have to go on all the time. I'll just arrange my business trips to match yours. Can you do that? I mean, I'm the boss of my company, so I have the final say. Sure, I can. Michael is a great boss and he'll understand. But you're the greatest CEO. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe now you can come to work at my company. <laughs> God, I don't know why I'm so freaking nervous. I mean, obviously, neither one of us has cold feet. And we've been together for like three years. But for some reason... I'm even more nervous than when I ask you out at that seminar. Um, nothing like a Vegas seminar. Maybe that's where we should have booked our honeymoon. That would have been romantic. But we go there for work reasons. Too much already. In that case, I think island life is better than desert life. You're right. That's why I'm marrying you. You're the smartest person I know and the person I admire most. Ugh, oh, save it for your vows, Calvin. That is, if I can get through them without stuttering. You've always been good at public speaking. Maybe, but public speaking is a lot different than telling the man who I love more than anything in the world exactly how much I love him. Who needs to save it for their vows now? Okay, but we seriously need to stop. I'm smiling at my phone like a 14-year-old girl in their first relationship. You're literally the sweetest. Okay, we got to go. It's almost time. Okay. I'm already at the little tiki bar by the pool whenever you're done showering and getting ready. Just couldn't wait to start drinking without me, huh? Whatever. You know, I can sit still for more than five minutes without getting bored. Okay, I'm almost done. I'm on my way. Of course, Mrs. Genesis Jameson. God, that's such a long and complicated name. Well, I had to keep it partially my name for my company's sake. You know how important it is for my brand. I know, between you and me, if my family wasn't so old-fashioned and traditional, I would have happily taken your last name. I know, babe. That's just one of the many reasons why I love you so much. I hope you're actually okay after my mother's rude comment. What? Yes, of course, I'm fine. If I couldn't handle a little backhanded remark now and then, I would never have survived in this cutthroat industry. Okay, I know you've got tough skin. I just can't believe she would say something like that. I mean, I get it was normal for couples to have kids right away in her time. But we're both busy with our careers. We have different priorities. I guess I just wish she didn't basically attack you for saying you were more excited about your job than kids right now. Hey, babe, it's okay. Don't worry about it. A lot of people aren't used to intimidating and successful women. It's a part of life. I'm used to it. I love you and your skin. I just wanted to make sure it was extremely clear that I don't expect you to give up your job at all. Ever. Thanks, honey. I know you don't. You're my biggest supporter. And for that, I'm so grateful. You're amazing. I'm just doing it because I'm excited to be a trophy husband. <laughs> what can I say? I love women who run the world. Oh, you're so corny, but in a good way. Anyway, I'll be at the bar in 10 minutes. Then we can head to the beach and enjoy the sun. Sounds like a plan. I've already ordered your favorite drink. It's waiting for you. Yay, you're the best! Hey babe, how are you doing? How is the work thing going? The one you've been preparing for so long? The seminar? It's going absolutely lovely. We had a fantastic turnout and a lot of positive feedback. We may have gained an extra seven clients from this event. Seven clients? Wow, that's a huge achievement. Isn't that a lot of companies to be handled now by your team? Yep, it's a lot of work, but it's worth it. I'm going to have to hire another two employees, I think, to keep up with the demand. That's amazing, and I'm so proud of you. You've been planning the seminar longer than you planned our wedding. You put so much effort into it. Yeah, I know, it's amazing. It's a big milestone for my company. Let's celebrate whenever I get home. I can't wait to see you. About that, 
What? Is everything okay? Oh yeah, everything is absolutely fine. Don't worry. It's just that, well, we were invited to stay with my parents for a while. Your parents? Like, in their house? A couple of cities over? The one we visited for Christmas? We don't have to accept. I mean, it's only been like three months since we saw them last, but my mother is kind of insisting on it. She's been calling me every day. Okay, do you want to go? Is there some special occasion or reason for the invitation? Yeah, it's their 35th wedding anniversary soon. I guess they want to get all the kids and their families together for a big celebration. Wow, they've been together for 35 years. That's incredible. Okay, maybe then we kind of have to go, don't we? Kind of. Yeah, it's a big deal for them. Well, since it can't be avoided, and since they're your parents and all... I don't want to pressure you into it. I know how busy you are with your work. And I know the last time you saw my mother, she said some pretty untoward things to you. Honey, it's fine, I swear. It doesn't bother me. When are we going? And for how long? Okay, if you're sure, it'll be nice to see all the siblings back at the house. It's been a while since we were all together. Yeah, and isn't your niece like five now? When was the last time you saw her? She must have grown so much. Yeah, she would already be five. I can't believe it. Time flies. We last saw her when she was three. I bet she doesn't even remember me anymore. She probably thinks I'm a stranger. Then it's settled. We have to see her and the rest of your family. Are you sure? You don't have to do this if you don't want to. Yes, honey, I'm sure. I want to do this for you and for them. Well, they wanted to make it a whole summer thing. So we'd head out next week and be there for like two weeks. Whoa. Two weeks? That's a long time. Yeah, is that all right? I know it's a bit bothersome to not be able to work in your own office. But they're kind of making it a whole big family trip. They want to spend as much time with us as possible. Oh, I'm totally fine working from my laptop. I can work from anywhere. And since we're hiring a couple of new people, I'm in charge of the interview process, so my workload won't be as heavy as usual. It's mainly staying two weeks with your family, but that worries me. Don't get me wrong, I totally love your family, but I don't know if I still love them after spending an entire two weeks with them. That's a lot of time. I get what you mean. I feel the same way, but my mother is pretty stubborn. And now that she has her mind set on this, she's going to keep bothering us until we go. She won't take no for an answer. That somehow sounds worse. <laughs> like she's holding us hostage. Yeah, kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. We can't say no, but we don't really want to say yes. I mean, I'm sure it'll pay off to be on your mother's good side. Especially since we're married now and your mother kind of comes in as part of the package. She's family now. So I guess we're going and we don't have a choice. Just know that whatever happens, I'm 100% on your side. I'll always support you and defend you. Thank you, honey. That means the world to me. I'm not planning on fighting with your mom, though. We can have different beliefs and ideas. It's fine. I'm not going to be picking a fight. I'll be polite and respectful. Oh, it's not you I'm worried about. It's her. She can be very opinionated and rude sometimes. We'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. I guess we'll see. Thank you, babe. You're literally the best. I'm ordering your favorite food, by the way. You'll be home in the next two hours, right? Oh, you're literally the best. You're so thoughtful and sweet. Yes, I'll be home within the next couple of hours. Just finishing off a few conversations here at the seminar. You know, the whole press kind of deal. They want to interview me and take some photos. Wow, you're such a CEO. You're so impressive and successful. You're making me blush. I love you and I'll see you when I get home. I love you too, babe. I can't wait to see you. Hi, Genesis dear. It's Jasmine, Kava's mother. He gave me your number while you both stayed here for the weekend. Just so we can keep in contact and all of that, you know. Yes, of course, that's a great idea. I'm glad you want to stay in touch with me. I thought so too. 
Anyways, I wanted to ask you where you got that lovely scarf you were wearing when you arrived yesterday. It was such a beautiful color and it matched your eyes perfectly. Oh yeah, I got it at this little boutique shop in our city. It's really gorgeous. And it's made of Italian silk, which is very soft and luxurious. Italian silk? I had no idea that Calvin could spoil you like that. And so early in your marriage, too. You know, it took my David about seven years to start spoiling me like that. But once they start, they never stop. As long as you keep yourself looking beautiful and charming. I also couldn't help but notice that you're quite muscular as well. Is that genetic, or do you work out a lot? Oh, actually, I bought the scarf for myself. It was a treat for myself after a long week of work. You what? You bought it for yourself? Why would you do that? Yeah, I bought it for myself a while ago as a little present. I've always liked to spoil myself a little, especially when I see something I really like. Oh dear. If you don't mind me asking, why would you buy yourself a present when you have a husband who can buy things for you? I don't mind you asking. I just think that it's important to be independent and not rely on anyone else for my happiness. I like to make my own money and spend it on whatever I want. Oh, okay. I see. Well, that's very different from how I was raised. But I guess times have changed. And also, thank you very much. For what? For complimenting my muscles. I've been weightlifting for about five years now, and I'm very proud of my progress. Weightlifting? Like those people that overturn themselves and wear those tasteless little swimsuits. Please tell me you don't do that. That is so unladylike. No, I'm not a bodybuilder. I just lift weights for fun and fitness. It helps relieve stress and it keeps me in shape. It's actually kind of funny because I have to basically drag Calvin to the gym with me, but now he enjoys it quite a bit as well. He's even started to get some muscles of his own. Oh, so your muscular features aren't genetic? They're the result of your hard work and dedication? No, nope, all are built in the gym. It took me forever to get where I am today. I think eating protein was the hardest part. Honestly, not the heavy weight lifting. I had to eat so much chicken and eggs and protein shakes. It was exhausting. Are you sure that's healthy? I mean, I've always believed women should be toned. Yes, but still soft and feminine. I think too many muscles makes you look manly-ish. And that's not attractive at all. Oh, well, I've always admired women weightlifters. I think they're amazing and inspiring. I think it's more important to be strong than to care about your aesthetics, you know? I don't care what other people think of me. I love my body and I love what I can do with it. Well, I'm just in the guest house if you need anything. I'm finishing up some work, but I'll be done in the afternoon. Work? What do you mean by work? Don't you have enough time to relax and enjoy yourself? Well, I couldn't very well leave my company to run itself now, could I? That's the goal, eventually. But for now, I enjoy having a more hands-on approach. I like to oversee everything and make sure it's running smoothly. Oh? You're still working, are you? Even when you're on vacation with your husband? Don't you think that's a bit rude? Yeah, it won't take long at all. I think Calvin mentioned something about you showing us around the property later. Well, I guess he'll just be showing me around the property, considering that Calvin already knows the place. <laughs> anyway, I'll have plenty of time for that, don't you worry. That's not what I'm worried about. I'm worried about you and Calvin. You seem to have very different lifestyles and values. How do you make it work? Well, we love each other very much and we respect each other's choices and preferences. We don't try to change each other or impose our views on each other. We just support each other and have fun together. Well, that's nice. But I still think you should spend more time with him and less time with your work and your weights. He's your husband after all. He deserves your attention and affection. Okay, well, thank you for your advice. I appreciate your concern. But I think we're doing just fine. We're very happy together. And we're looking forward to spending some quality time with you and Dave. Hey, honey. Is everything all right? You kind of left the barbecue abruptly and have been gone for a while. I'm starting to get worried about you. I'm fine. Everything's fine. 
There's nothing to worry about. Okay, that kind of sounds like everything isn't fine. What's up? Did something happen? Your mother was just giving me a hard time about work and I guess I let it get to me. She was being very rude and judgmental. What? What did she say? Should I tell her to apologize? No, it's nothing really. I didn't want to ruin the good vibes, so I left. I didn't want to make a scene or cause any trouble. Besides, we have to be up early for the fishing trip with your dad, right? That should be fun. Yeah, but honey, you should have told me. I would have gone with you back to the guest house. No, it's really not a big deal. It's not worth making a fuss over. I'm sure she didn't mean it. Well, it clearly is a big deal if it's upsetting you. What did she say? She just said that my working at this company is bringing shame to you. That it's embarrassing and disrespectful. What? What does that even mean? How is that possible? She said that a husband should be able to provide for his wife. And that me working and running. This company is basically telling everyone that you're a bad husband. That you can't take care of me or make me happy. What? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I don't actually believe her, but I guess it was just a lot to hear while grabbing another drink. It was very hurtful and uncalled for. Oh my goodness. I had no idea she would say something like that. It's definitely not true. Everyone works nowadays. It's normal and expected. I guess my mother is just used to the idea of women staying at home. She's very old-fashioned and conservative. Yeah, I guess. It just caught me off guard, but I'm fine, really. I'm just going to head to bed early tonight. I'm a bit tired and I need some rest. You know, we don't have to stay the entire two weeks. Not if my mother keeps making comments like that. Really? You would do that for me? Yes, babe. I don't want you to spend the next week and a half walking on eggshells around my mother. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable or stressed. Are you sure? You won't regret it? Yes, I'm sure. I won't regret it. I love you more than anything. Remember what I told you before we came that I'd have your back 100%? And I do. Okay, thank you. You're really the best. Oh my god, wait. Have you seen my work stuff? I can't seem to find it anywhere. What? Your work stuff? No, I haven't seen it. Did you lose it? Weird. It's not where I left it yesterday. I left it on the desk in the guest house, but it's not there anymore. It isn't? No, not that I know of. I didn't touch it or move it. Maybe someone else did. Well, that's weird and kind of annoying. I need my work stuff. It has important documents and files on it. Damn, it wasn't important, was it? You didn't have anything urgent or confidential on it, did you? I mean, it depends on how important you think my work phone, laptop, and folder was. They had all my contacts, emails, projects, and reports on them. Plus, they're expensive and hard to replace. Oh, wow. You mean everything's gone? Your phone, your laptop, your folder? All of it? Yep. I tore this place apart looking for it. I checked every room, every drawer, every closet, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Now I'm getting slightly more concerned. Let me ask my dad. I'm just finishing putting the boat and stuff away. Maybe he knows something. Okay. Please do that and hurry. I need to find my work stuff as soon as possible. Okay. So apparently my mother went and cleaned the guest house while we were fishing. She said she was doing it as a little surprise or something. Where is your mother? You don't think she would have done something like steal my stuff, do you? I don't even know anymore. I've been surprised a lot these last couple of months by my mother's actions. I don't know what to think anymore. She's apparently shopping in town. She said she'll be back later. God, I'll text her. I'm packing. I can't stay here one more day. I'm done. I'm sick of your mother and her passive-aggressive behavior. She's crossed the line this time. I'm right there with you. I'll tell my dad and we'll pack the car and go. We'll leave this place and never come back. I love you so much. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you too. Now let's get out of here. 
Let's go somewhere where we can be happy and free. Okay, where is it? Where is my work stuff that you took from me? Where is what? How was your fishing trip, dear? Did you have a good time with your husband and my husband? Don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about? Don't pretend like you don't. How dare you? I can't believe you would speak to your mother-in-law like this. First, you refuse to have children with my son. Then you brainwash him into thinking that you're a good wife. And now, you're speaking to me like this? You're the worst thing that ever happened to my family. You're unbelievable. You're the one who's rude and disrespectful. Your son loves and respects me for who I am. He supports me and my career, so why can't you? Why can't you accept me as part of your family? What the hell do you mean? What career? You don't have a career. You don't have a hobby that's taking you away from your real duties as a wife. You can't stand the fact that I'm working and that I'm successful. You've made that abundantly clear. You've been making snide comments and passive-aggressive remarks ever since we got here. Now tell me where the heck my work is! What work things? I don't know what you're talking about, but if you've somehow lost them, maybe it's for the best. Women shouldn't be running companies or lifting weights. You're becoming an embarrassment to my son. Women should be at home raising children. That's what you should be doing. What? What century are you in? Everyone works in his jobs nowadays. It's normal and expected. I just don't want that for my son. I want him to have a real wife. A wife who loves him and takes care of him. And I have no idea what happened to your work. I didn't touch it or move it. Besides, aren't you happier and less stressed now you don't have to work? Aren't you enjoying your vacation with your family? Stop with the lies. Dave already told Kelvin that you were in the guest house cleaning. He told him that you said you were doing it as a little surprise or something. Just tell me the truth. Fine. Working isn't good for you because you're now married. You're supposed to focus on your husband and your home. So I threw away your laptop and phone. I threw them in the trash. Your son and I are leaving for good. We're not staying here any longer. We're not putting up with your nonsense anymore. What are you talking about? We're fed up without you treat me. We're leaving and we're never coming back. What? No, don't. You can't take away my son away from me. You wouldn't tear apart a family like a heartless monster. The only heartless monster here is you. Goodbye and good riddance. No, wait, I'll give you back whatever you want. Just don't leave. No, thank you. I was in need of a new one anyway. Never see you, never again. When Kelvin's sister found out what happened, she left too. She was so angry and disappointed with her mother's behavior that she packed her bags and drove away. So Jasmine celebrated Herb and Dave's anniversary without two of her kids. She had to pretend that everything was fine and that she was happy, but she was secretly miserable and lonely. Calvin blocked her number on her way back home, but not before she tried to call a dozen times. She was desperate to talk to him and apologize, but he didn't want to hear it. He was done with her and her lies. Calvin and I are content with the life we have. We love each other and we love our work. We don't need anyone else's approval or validation. In fact, Calvin feels like he has a weight off of his shoulders, knowing he doesn't have to answer to his controlling and old-fashioned mother. He feels free and relieved. And when I was interviewed by Forbes after a smashing success of a year, he sent off the article to his parents with a little note explaining how he can now quit his job and be a wonderful house husband. He wanted to show them how proud he was of me and how happy we were together. He also wanted to rub it in their faces a little bit. He wanted them to see what they were missing out on.